Hi, I found this really great science experiment. I just couldn't wait to try it. And I've done like about eight different times because I wanted it just right to show you guys because it is really amazing. First of all, you are going to need three cups, just plain cups. And in the first cup, we are going to need 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. So my vitamin C, the little tablets have 500 milligrams, so I needed two of them. So I put my two vitamin C's in here. I took a rolling pan and I mushed it up. I squished it, squished it, so all I have is fine powder. Then I took all of that fine powder and put it in the first glass. And then I added two ounces of warm water. Put it in there, got the warm water took it and I stirred it up with a spoon 30 seconds so it's all mixed up, it's all dissolved. When I was done with that, it was time to do the second cup. So the second cup, what I took was one teaspoon of the liquid in this cup that I made the vitamin C in the water. I took one teaspoon of it out and I put it in here. Then I added two more ounces of warm water, and then get a load of this, one teaspoon of iodine. You can find iodine at any Walmart or any drugstore. And I made sure I put one teaspoon of iodine and watch it when that happens because iodine is really dark. And guess what happened? The water got clear, pretty cool. When you're done with that, take two ounces of warm water, put it in here. Then you're gonna add a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. And you're gonna put that in here, hydrogen peroxide. And then you're gonna take a half of a teaspoon of liquid starch. And you put that in cup number three. Also now, we are ready to get that. That was a lot of stuff to do, wasn't it? But you know what? It makes such a cool, cool reaction. Good chemical reaction. So what I'm going to do now with these two, that they're all ready to go, I'm going to just mix them up. Just going to pour them in. And you know what, boys and girls? Jesus can transform our hearts when we meet him. And there's a story in the Bible. It's in Luke. And I bet you can figure out which one it is. It's about a man who's not as tall as most of the people, most of the men. Do you remember? Zacchaeus, yes. Watch this cup. I'm gonna put it right here so you can watch it. I'm gonna put this down just a little bit more. There, I want you to get the whole effect. Okay, now Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector. And you know what? He would take money for people to pay their taxes, which is what his job was. But he would say, we need more. And he would take more money. And those people were being stolen from. Do you think they like Zacchaeus too well? No, uh-uh. But one day Zacchaeus heard Jesus was coming to town. And so what he did is he looked, oh, he couldn't see over all those people, so he decided, well, I'm going to find out which path he's going to go. Then I'm going to run ahead. So he went running ahead. He saw where Jesus was going. And right there was a sycamore tree. So he climbed up the sycamore tree. And he thought, I'm going to get to see Jesus now. So when he was up in the sycamore tree, here comes Jesus walking by. And Jesus goes, Zacchaeus. He knew Zacchaeus' name. You know what? That shouldn't surprise us. He made all of us, and he knows every one of our names. In fact, you know what? He knows how many hairs are on our head. That's amazing. And he said, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to go to your house today. And Zacchaeus is like, Jesus is coming to my house. But take a look at these other people. Zacchaeus, they said, he's a sinner, and he steals from people. Jesus, where are you going to go see Zacchaeus? But you know what the cool thing is? God had another plan. When Zacchaeus came down to meet Jesus, he realized, 
you know what? I've done wrong. And that's what happens when we see Jesus. We realize, oh, I've done wrong. And so Zacchaeus said, Jesus, when he got down there, he goes, Jesus, I'm a wealthy man, which Jesus knew. I'm a wealthy man. And he says, I will give half of everything I owe to the poor people. And you know what, Jesus? If I stole from any of these people, and these people knew, yep, he stole from us. If I stole anything from these people, I will pay them back four times. Look what happened to Zacchaeus' heart. When he met Jesus, he totally was transformed. He wanted to follow Jesus. You know, his eyes at the beginning of the story were on money. How can I get more money, money, money? But when he met Jesus, his eyes were on Jesus. And it was like, oh, how can I serve Jesus? How can I help other people? So Zacchaeus met Jesus and his life was transformed.